Gouda with red pesto. Ah, so they're giving us Gouda two days in a row. Mm. At least it's not American two days in a row. That's true, at least. I guess we'll have to see how well the pesto flavor comes through. Mm -hmm. I thought you were gonna just eat it by yourself. Mm -hmm. I was like, wait a second. Mm -hmm. Pesto comes through. Mm hmm. That's really nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah. Strong pesto flavor. Mm hmm. And then, like, after that calms down a little bit, then you get the gouda, like, rich and creamy mm -hmm. flavor behind it. Yeah. Was mm -hmm. the principal ingredients for pesto or like oregano? I feel like that's the Maybe. seasoning that's coming through. Yeah, oreg yeah, there's a strong oregano, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna put, use a cracker with this. This is too good by itself. Oh. Abbott! Do you want your Abbott? Sit, Thank sit. Good boy. Nikki knows what this is by now. I think so. He is very excited about this. <laughs> Even though you haven't been very thrilled about the treats. Okay, a little stars. Hmm. Luke is also making an appearance. Good boy, you have to sit. Sit. Good boy. Do you want to cheat? Why do you keep running away? <laughs> like he can't swallow it immediately, so he has to book it out of here. <laughs> Did you actually eat that one? Do you want the second? There you go. <laughs> I don't understand you running away, but whatever. Kitten! Kitten, you want your epic calendar? Are you coming and sitting like you're the good boy? Alright, what do you guys have? Okay. Oh, they're like shaped like little fish. That's actually kind of cute. Here, then I'll open it and then I'll give you a close up. A little fish. Oh, cute. Yeah. You want one? You have to sit. Nope. Get down. Down. Sit. Good job. Shake. <laughs> Lambo got in your way. Lambo, stop. These are not yours. Oh, smack it out of my hand. Rude. Here you go, Jadis. Get in. There you go. There you go. So I think they're trying to eat these and like slowly like wanting them more. A part of me thinks it's the exact same treat, just in different shapes. I think that's what it is. <laughs> but they're like slowly wanting them more because it's a treat. And they've like accepted that this is what they're getting. They want that dopamine boost <laughs> in their brains like, oh, it's a treat. I need treats. If it's a treat, I want it. All right, sure. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the video. Right. Today for supper, Dan and I are making something new that we've been like saving up to make for a while. And I don't mean saving up like money. I mean saving up veggie scraps because we've been wanting to try making our own chicken broth, our own vegetable broth from scratch. So I did a little bit of looking around online and basically you can just take all of your leftover vegetable scraps and like cut them up into smaller pieces, throw them in a bag, stick them in the freezer, like a Ziploc bag. And then when you're ready to just pour them all into a pot, fill it with some water and let it simmer for like 30 minutes and you have your own homemade vegetable broth. So that's what I'm going to try to do. You can see the bag is essentially full. Nice sized gallon bag is full of veggie scraps. I'm going to pop it into here. There we go. And like almost nothing was off limits. All they said was to avoid things like broccoli and cauliflower and Brussels sprout because those give the broth a really bitter taste. So. The whole time we've been doing this, we've bought cauliflower, but then we just compost the parts that we aren't using. Um, but everything else, like you can see like there's 
like the skins of garlic, there's onion skins, there's a ton of romaine scraps in here. Like chunks of onion are left in here. These, we made carnitas, and so these are the tomatillo skins. Um, like there's pieces of, what is that, carrot, there's some radish in here. So I'm gonna fill this with water until stuff just starts to like float, and then you let it simmer which I'm super excited to taste it and like see what it tastes like. So here it is, all of the vegetables in here just started floating like as a unit. So that's all the fuller, that's all the more, bleh. so that's all the more that I filled this with water and now this needs to come up to a boil and then we're going to let it simmer for 20 minutes. So I will pop back in at the end of that simmering. All right, I know I said I would check in when it was done simmering. I just turned it down to simmer, but oh my goodness, it smells incredible. I'm so excited about this now because it smells so good. Oh my goodness. All right, and this is what it looks like after 20 minutes of simmering. Oh, it smells divine. So now what I need to do is I need to strain all of this so we have just the broth left. All right, so here's the situation I have going on. I have a big bowl to catch all the broth, a strainer to strain out all of the vegetable pieces, and I'm gonna just set you up right there. Also, whoop, let's not fall over. Let's not do it. Thank you. There's also split chicken breasts right there that I plan on cooking for the soup as well. So let's give this a go. Oh, it still smells so good. So that is what the broth looks like. And then I put the strainer back in here so it can just finish a dripping and then we will compost all of the vegetables. I'm gonna grab a spoon because I wanna try this vegetable broth. Okay, I'm just gonna dip my spoon right in. Okay. Yeah, that has a really good flavor. It obviously needs salt. Like you would not be able to have a soup with just this and no salt because there's absolutely no salt in it. But that's, it's actually pretty good. It's almost like a carroty flavor, which is interesting because there was very, very little carrot in there. But yeah, that's really good. I like that a lot, cool. So what I will do now is once that is finished draining, then I can get stuff prepared for our soup tonight. I'm editing this and realized that I never, like that was all that I filmed. We ended up making like a chicken noodle soup with the broth. So what I did after the clip you just saw was I finished getting all the vegetables totally strained. I put the broth back into that same stock pot and I put those split chicken breasts that I had into the broth and I let that boil and simmer for like, 30-ish minutes again, so the chicken could cook all the way through. And then I took those out, I deboned them, and I put the chicken back in the soup along with some fresh cut up veggies like celery and carrot. And I might have put in a little onion, I don't remember. And then I let all of that simmer on like a low, low heat for like an hour. And once that was totally simmered, oh, and then I also added seasonings. So I added salt and I think I added oregano, I think. Uh, oregano or basil, I don't remember which one it was. But then, yeah, that just simmered for a long time. And then when Dan came home, we had some chicken noodle soup. Uh, I kept the chicken, or I kept the noodles separate because I didn't want any noodles in my soup, but I made like egg noodle just separately and Dan added that to his soup. 
But yeah, it was really, really good. Definitely, we, we have another bag in our freezer of vegetable scraps that we are saving. And this is something that's gonna be super easy to make that we can, once we cook the vegetable broth, you let it cool and you put it in a Ziploc baggie and you put it back in the freezer and you just let the broth, like just freeze it. And then you have vegetable broth whenever you want it and it's delicious so 10 out of 10 recommend very very easy and it's a great way to use up your scraps and like get the most out of your food